everybody and a warm welcome to my channel Tarot by Isabella. I hope you're all doing great and I'm very happy to see you here. Uh, today I will be doing a, a horoscope reading and before I begin this horoscope reading I uh, must just say to all of you astrologers out there this is not a normal um, traditional horoscope reading. I do not do any star maps and calculation. This is purely an intuitive uh, horoscope reading and um, I will be doing this in uh, four sections with four videos and um, each vid video will contain the three star signs. And there are a lot of discussion which sign you belong to. So um, when I do uh, these readings, I say that if you identify as a specific star sign, star sign uh, then uh, you can look at that star sign. And as I said, this is not a normal traditional horoscope reading. It's based on my tarot card and the things I get through um, through them and also through the crystal balls that will stand here as um, protection and also as inspiration and transmitting of energies. So bear in mind that uh, that I'm not an astrologer, but it still could be interesting to hear. And in these readings, uh, I will be talking about different areas in life. Uh, the health, love and emotions, money, work, school, and yeah, different areas. And it will be, this reading that I'm doing will be for um, the month of November and December. And next reading I will be doing the end of December or probably beginning of January 2024. And that reading will be for three months let we say for January, February and March. But um, this reading is just for November and December. And during a reading sometimes it can come a, a personal message for someone who is looking or watching this video. Uh, I never know in advance what will come and whatever information that I receive I will pass it further to you. And uh, with no delay let's start this reading. Well, now we begin the reading for the air signs. And uh, the air signs are Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And um, I will begin with Gemini. And first I need to shuffle my cards a little bit. And let's see what's going on for the Geminis. Uh, for the month of November, December 2023. Just give me a few seconds and soon we begin. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. And we start with a pile for health, love and emotions, finances, work and uh, school, uh, family and friends, if there are any warnings, and finally what can come as a surprise. And I need some Oracle cards for Gemini. And this one for the love pile. And finally some dice. Gemini. Well, 
two, and a three. And the cards for Gemini look like this. Okay, Gemini, let's start with the health pile. Mm. It looks like mm, many of your Geminis gonna be a little bit anxious. And could have some um, worries about finances, about family, about this and about that. So worries in many different areas and that can cause uh, anxiety problems. Many of those problems can be solved if you talk to the person, if there is a relationship, pers uh, relationship issue and th that could be solved quite easily. Um, I also see some of your Geminis could have some problem with the teeth and could be a visit to the dentist that could be a little bit costly. So be careful uh, how you chew and what you chew. S for example, if you eat nuts, um, look it through once or twice to see that you don't have any shell, pieces of shell, so you don't break a tooth. And um, yeah, could be problem with the teeth in November or December. But some of this can be uh, avoided if you are careful so you don't chew on something very hard and maybe break a, a tooth. Uh, what's more? Yeah, because it could be costly. Uh, and also be a little bit careful uh, to not get unnecessary bills. So try to, if there are important bills, try to pay them. Um, be sure to be that they are paid so you don't get extra fees on it. And that could be also issue of anxiety. Yeah, uh, what's more? And I also see some of your Germany could have problems with the knees and um, some good creams don't um, watch up for your knees yeah so you don't trip or maybe hurt a knee mm -hmm. okay let's continue to the love pile and um, for those Gemini that are in relationship um, could be moments of sadness uh, that you feel that you're doing too much and your partner is not helping you. So it could be a good time in November, December to talk to your partner, tell them how you feel. It's not you don't have to do everything, and uh, the work in a household could be shared a little bit more equal. But also your Geminis who are a little bit afraid of asking for help uh, from friends or relatives. If you feel that it's too much work for you in some area, don't feel um, afraid to ask persons you have confidence in uh, for help. And you will see that help will be uh, found when you need it. For those Geminis that are singles, I don't see big new love coming in in those two months. That is more for next year. And don't get too upset if you don't find your true love uh, in those two months. 
there is happiness, there is good partner waiting for you, but that is further, uh, further in time, uh, more for next year. And don't get any stress and don't put too much energy and work on you must find one, you must find one. It will come when you both are ready. Mm. Let's continue to economy. Geminis normally are quite good with economy, I see here. And uh, I don't see any big issues. You will, mm, Some of your Gemini uh, probably will help out some friends who have a uh, problem with their money. It uh, could be a loan or could be another way to help them financially. And you will receive a lot of gratitude uh, in return. Uh, some good news are coming for Geminis at work. Could be a race or could be something uh, similar. Um, but I see quite uh, good stability in months of uh, November and December. What about work and school? Mm -hmm. For those Geminis that have had problems with some elderly woman at your workplace or at school, uh, some that has been um, not nice to you, I see that woman gonna leave. She will not work there anymore or she will not be at that school anymore. Um, it's like her time is up and uh, it's no, uh, well, it's time for her to go. Yeah. What can I may more say at work and school? Mm -hmm. And if some woman would like to provoke you at job, uh, don't fall for it. Just yeah, brush it off. Um, don't listen to her. She she wants to make some drama. And if you don't take it personally, the whole conflict will disappear by its own. For those Germanists that uh, are looking for a job, uh, it's a little bit difficult time to find a job. Uh, I see some kind of uh, obstacles for that. Those obstacles will be cleared out for the beginning of next year. And a really good job is coming somewhere in January, February. Yeah. What about family and friends then? Mm -hmm. Some very, someone very close to you could be family, could be friends, uh, could fall ill during November, December, and um, through your help or through your assistance, uh, this person could recover quite quickly, or because of you being there, you may be be able to save someone's life uh, could be quite dramatic yeah but the outcome will be good because we have the uh, world the universe so some negative situation will turn out to some positive one and um, they also say try not to help everyone you cannot help everyone try to use some discernment those who really need help most try to be there those who doesn't not those who scream the loudest but those who really uh, need your help so you cannot be on every place at the same time you have to think about yourself too uh, warnings i don't see any big warnings Mm -hmm. um, for those who are planning, Geminis who are planning to move uh, to a new home, to a new house, uh, I can recommend you strongly uh, the contracted papers, um, seller buyers, uh, or it's a lease, whatever. You have to read them very 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 well even the fine little letters so when you sign something you know that it is uh, a good uh, contract 
could if you do read the fine letters and uh, because there's some trickery here and you can avoid a lot of problems uh, if you are alert for example insurance for house and home um, be aware and uh, don't forget to sign that for 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 the new home so you will be more safe uh, what about surprise for you in the coming month the surprise will be that you will receive a gift you have not expected and this gift is uh, some kind of gift in connection to health it will make you feel healthier happier stronger and uh, for example if for a woman if you uh, really wanted to go to a spa or make some facial treatments or a hairdresser maybe you get a gift card uh, for that specific uh, thing and it will make you feel much better what do we have here for the oracle cards we have travel uh, good looking man resurrection surrender to change and then we have a tent we have a house and we have a partner <clears throat> first i will connect that to moves for those gemini's that are moving in november december the move you will make will be some kind of resurrection it will be a change for the better from a tent to a house mm -hmm. and um, many of those moves the Gemini makes will be together with a partner mm -hmm. so your partner will come with you uh, I can also say for those who are singles if you make a journey if you make a move during November December there is a big chance that you will meet uh, a future partner during that process could be during the move during that journey or when you have moved to the new place new surroundings then a new partner is somehow waiting for you maybe not in the new house but when you move that you meet someone could be after a month two or three you meet someone that is potentially very good for you mm -hmm. well that was my reading for germany let's continue to the next sign and the next sign will be aquarius so now let's look for the air sign of Aquarius. What is going on for all of your Aquarius for the month of November, December 2023? So first a little shuffling and soon we'll see. Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Some extra money is on its way. So let's start with health. Health for Aquarius. Love and emotions. Finances. Work, school. Family and friends if there are any warnings and what can come as a surprise now some oracle cards for Aquarius And finally, some dice.
and the cards for Aquarius look like this. Okay Aquarius, what can we find for you for November, December 2023? Let's begin with the health. Mm -hmm. Some of you Aquarius could uh, inherit some money or something worth a lot of money. And that can come as a surprise. Some of those money, extra money that will come in, it looks like you will use them for better health, for um, feeling better or for some kind of treatment that you really wanted to do for a long time. Uh, something to improve uh, your overall health. Um, I also see that many Aquarius uh, will decide, and they have been looking on different areas, how to feel better, how to uh, maybe change diets or, or begin with some, could be holistic treatment or some other kind of treatment that costs a little bit money, but the result will be uh, very beneficial for you. Mm -hmm. And I also see that Aquarius have to be a little bit careful. Um, I, I, I see ears, sinuses, um, the, those areas. So they don't catch an infection or maybe rinse your nose with salt water. Something to keep that area a little bit more clean uh, to avoid uh, infection and, and problems. What about love and emotions? Uh, for many Aquarius, I say many because it's not all of them, you could uh, unfortunately have some relationship problems, some rocky roads ahead for November and December. Uh, could be that your partner have uh, wasted a lot of money on unnecessary things so some struggle financially will make uh, problems in um, in the relationship um, but it also seems like the partner who made problem for you uh, will try to ask for forgiveness and uh, let them let and really try to change and the cards give your relationship a chance so if that partner really really are sorry from the heart and they want to change and be a better person in a relationship then it could be worth and uh, give them a second chance mm -hmm. um, but I also see a few Aquarius that are heading for a separation or divorce in November, December, or the decision is made. For those who are singles, I don't see November, December as a specific, specifically good month to start new relationship. I see that you could get quite disappointed, especially if you're dating someone, chatting, and a strange thing can come up on those persons. So try be a little bit calm November, December. It's not really, according to the cards, your turn uh, to find a, a good partner. It will come, but not in those months. So there are other things that you maybe should focus on. Uh, finances. Mm -hmm. As I said here, for those in relationship, it could be discussions about finances, about money spent on things that are not so well uh, spent, and uh, you have to, yeah, think differently or try some different ways to get your economy uh, leveled. Uh, but I also see good news. Uh, financially that can come and it will f feel like magic for some of you 
and that will also give you a chance, opportunity to get on track, to stand strong on your feet again. Since here I saw some kind of extra money, could be that um, you will inherit some something valuable. What about work and school? Mm -hmm. Could be a couple of you um, Aquarius that will um, resign from work. Uh, you are tired, you don't like that uh, place, you don't like your co-workers, you think they are lying and the whole place seems quite unstable and not balanced, not good place at all. So it could be that many of you will decide now it's time to look for a different kind of job. And a decision will be made in those months. New job will come in the beginning of spring. For those in uh, school, uh, could be also disappointment of fellow students. You will find some of them quite nasty. Uh, lying people and um, also that you will change your focus maybe you change um, who you want to study with because those who you were hanging out with are not so nice people mm -hmm. family and friends mm -hmm. some very uh, some friend very close to you it seems like uh, they will announce could be engagement or uh, wedding that is coming up and you will get some invitation for that in, in the month of November, December. A lot of talk about love and uh, relationship and marriage and things like that among your family members and uh, your uh, friends. And it could be a little bit stressful. It could be, oh, please leave me alone. I don't want to hear anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, warnings. For those who have children, the warning is don't let your children stay up all night. Try to keep to the routine, if the, especially if the children are small. Um, be firm. No, bedtime at 10 o'clock. Okay, half an hour if it's a special location. Uh, if not, you're going to have some very, uh, I said, kids that are, yeah, whining the next day. Mm. Um, what will come as a surprise? And that a very, very close friend to you. Uh, we'll talk about pregnancy and that pregnancy is not welcomed it's a surprise pregnancy so it will be difficult for you to give advice since the advice to keep a child or make an abortion is completely up to um, the person who is pregnant um, but you can give both sides of the story so the person has to make their own decision yeah, what do the oracle cards say? So resurrection, surrender to change. And then we have a castle and hope. And on the dice we have a black crow or a raven. Mummy, a regret about. Those Aquarius who have had problems with their mothers, grandmothers, uh, female, elderly female persons in their family and they thought that they were talking a lot of um, not nice things, could be gossip, could be this, could be that. And something will change in your relationship. Could be that that woman will regret and ask you for a second chance uh, to uh, some kind of relationship. And it will give you a lot of hope that people can change for the better. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that was what I could see for Aquarius. Let's continue to the last of the air signs, and that is Libra. So, let's look at the last sign of the air signs, Libra. And uh, let's see what's happening for all Libras. Uh, for the month of November and December 2023. So I just need to shuffle the cards a little bit and soon we'll see what's coming up. Libra. Now we start with health for Libra, love and emotions, finances, work and uh, school, family, friends, if there are any warnings and what can come as a surprise. Some oracle cards. And a pink one on the love and emotion pile. And finally some dice. And the uh, cards for Libra looks like this. Okay, Libras, let's see what uh, the month of November and December 2023 can um, come with. And we'll keep, begin on the health pile. Mm. Uh, for the Libras, there is a warning of substances that can be abusive, like too much tobacco, too much drugs, too much alcohol, um, too much medication. So you have really, really have to look out um, the way you live your life. You have to find a balance in everything. Could be a lot of temptations. Uh, for you during November and December and uh, definitely say no to um, to drugs and alcohol since it could give very very um, bad health responses and this is also a warning for Libra girls if you for example go out on a nightclub with your friends and uh, don't leave your drink so you don't get drugged and uh, bad things could happen. Always keep your eye on your drink when you're out. Don't any, let any strangers uh, invite you for a drink or, or something like that. So be careful uh, where you put your drink or uh, who you get it from because there is a risk for getting uh, drugged uh, with some quite serious things happen afterwards. If you are uh, paying a lot of attention to that, uh, then you can avoid big problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
uh, about love and emotions then we for those Libras that are in relationship I see that you will resolve a lot of issues you had you will feel that your relationship is much more balanced uh, and, uh, you become more friends and you're gonna feel like the passion uh, between you awaken again and um, and also for those who have very close relationship and love your friends uh, you're gonna spend some very very good time uh, doing things you love both of you uh, du sometime during November December for the single ones there is a big chance you're gonna meet someone special during these two months um, and a lot of passion who experience new things in love you have not experienced before but still you have to be careful so you don't fall for any narcissist or anyone that wants to put a spell on you or Sometimes the things could be too good to be true. So try to be balanced as a Libra is. Uh, look at the pros and contras and you will, yeah, uh, you will manage quite well in uh, the love area. What about finances? Mm? Some very hard work you have put in some special project or um, area will be rewarded financially uh, some extra money could come to you even big money and you will feel very very lucky uh, so many libras can experience um, a stroke of luck or a big rise uh, financially Mm -hmm. uh, it could also be that some of your Libras, uh, yeah, I see beautiful shoes. So it could be that you find a special shoe or a boot or something you really, really want and you find it in a good price and you will become extremely happy for that shoe or boot. Okay, what about lo uh, work and school? Mm -hmm. Some trust issues um, on, on the working place. It could be that some very nasty lies comes out. People you trusted with some secrets reveal those secrets to others. So co-workers at work, for many Libras, you should be more secretive about personal issues since they can be um, handed out to others. Uh, some kind of nasty gossip. yeah. And this is also for people in school. Um, Try to keep with those you trust, really, since um, friends um, have to prove they are friends. So don't give too much personal information out. And for those who are looking for a job, uh, it could be that you are promised a place and when you go there, they say, no, sorry, somebody else um, got that job but don't get discouraged because if it's in that way then this uh, work or this working place is not for you uh, something better is waiting and i see february something there when big changes for those who are looking for job will come uh, family and friends Mm. Um, for those Libras who have a male relative that have his own company or business, this male relative will find his business boom. Like it goes very well and extra money comes in. Some new projects that are very successful. 
there you are. And I also see some of your Libras that are uh, that want to have better contact with grandparents, especially grandfathers. Uh, some new connection will arise with the grandfathers, and you will get positively surprised. Warnings. Warnings are for stress. Don't stress too much. Don't rush into things. Especially if it's regarding relationships. Don't um, quickly go for divorce if it's not a serious matter. If it's just a small argument, calm down, discuss and uh, things can get solved. Yeah. So don't make any decisions when you are stressed and not feeling well. What will come as a surprise? Quite few of you. Uh, no, sorry, quite many of you who have a close friend. Uh, and maybe you have planned to go on a trip somewhere. During this November, December, this trip could happen or you book the trip together. So maybe you go next year, but it's like you pay for the trip, pay for the journey with some very good friend. But that is um, uh, a, a journey that you have planned since a long time ago. And now finally, this journey can happen. Okay, the final cards here, the oracle cards. Um, the big picture, then we have a snake, then we have the card of visit, then we have some kind of scarecrow, um, headphones, and a scissor. So, you will get some warning sign that this person is not a good friend or a good co-worker. Uh, you will have that intuition, that warning bell. Mm, I should maybe not trust him or her. And uh, even if that person is like smiling and putting on a false face in front of you, there is some falseness going on behind your back. And the snake will be revealed. The one ha who has been false against you, who has been treasonous against you will be revealed and that is for the good of you for what because why spend time or um, associate with someone that really doesn't wish you well so the snakes will be revealed so you can as here here we have scissors so you can cut them out of your life you don't need that parasitic energy yeah and you will get the big picture and you will get help from uh, other dimension angelic help to clean out the snakes in your life well that was my final reading for the air signs so all of you libras i wish you all the best all of you Geminis and Aquarius, I wish you also all the best. And if all of you viewers out there, thank you so much for watching. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we're going to see each other soon again. Bye bye.